YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and welcome to the vlog. Wait a minute, that's not, that's not my line, is it? Nope. That's it somebody sure else's isn't. line. We're not going to steal somebody's line, but we are here. We are ready for the Daytona Reptile Show. I love this show. I get to see some family. My brother lives down here. We got a great place to stay. Uh, thanks to some spare time share points. So we are here at the Ocean Walk Resort at Daytona Beach, Florida. So I'm really excited about that. But let's go in and see some cool stuff, huh? Let's go in and check it out. So follow along with us. We get my luggage. I've also got my buddy uh, Redneck Jeff from Redneck Reptiles here and running the camera because Kurt's a little bitch and couldn't make it. No, really, he had some work stuff to do. I totally understand. But since he's not here, Alex is actually using the camera for us from Emberleaf Reptiles. So a big thanks to him. But I want to show you how close this resort is to the beach. It is an amazing place to stay, so I'm really happy with it. Uh, just kind of turn around, we'll pan through here and just kind of take a look at the ocean. So we're gonna have a wonderful, a wonderful relaxing few days here. But before we can do that, we have literally been in the car for how long, Jeff? Uh, 23 hours for me, 22 for him, and yeah. 21 for his. Straight, straight. So we're gonna go up, find the room, and see how the bed looks. What he's not telling y'all is they took naps. Well, yeah, but you didn't drive. Like, he's always whining. <laughs> always, not always whining. whining. Not I whining. Tell you. Completely. So the elevator's over here. We're gonna go check that out, and uh, we're gonna take a quick break, get us a little bit of shut eye, and then we'll show you the rooms. So we got ourselves a little power nap, man. We feel much better. I took me a shower. I'm feeling a lot refreshed. Jeff didn't. He still smells like a well. I smell good. You smell. You know, I'm not even gonna go there. You, you want to smell it? No, you smell no, it? I don't. I it's... really don't. I smelled you in the Jeep the entire time. No. And before we got in the Jeep, I was smelling you. That's completely different, and you, you did like not you smell me. To, I smelled like my <laughs> deodorant. Well, F word. My Jeez. bad, my bad. We can't say shit damn piss hell in these videos. Uh, Fire uh, trucks, definitely out. YouTube yeah. already demonetizes us. We're sorry. All right, let's show you the rooms we're staying in. So originally, <laughs> this bad. is what we were supposed to have, but it's really nice. Um, we got this really cool little kitchenette with the like world's smallest sink. I don't know. Yep, my head still fits. So we do have that That's shocking. Uh, over here. I know my head keeps getting bigger, right? We got a nice little living room with a pull-out sofa. Uh, and then this really cool balcony view. I'll let the camera go check Push that it down out. And kind of, yeah. There it is. And it overlooks kind of a, I don't know if you'd call that a river or what you would call it. You really can't see the ocean from here. We're on the wrong side which is kind of an unfortunate thing, but a nice city view nonetheless. Not too bad for a city. So we come in here and this would be the main bedroom. Now remember we had three guys who were supposed to be staying in here. And um, I did not pay attention well in kindergarten. So I was like, this is mine, you two figure it out. So they were gonna have one couch and I don't know, we forgot the air mattress. So we were still figuring that out. Uh, has a really nice tub in it though. And a pretty cool bathroom. So. This was going to be home to us for the next several days. However, Wyndham was really gracious to us and they gave us a really cool upgrade. So in addition to this spot, let me show you what else we have. We have the connecting room, which is over here. And we have a little like weird walkway, but it works out really well. And this space is nothing short of amazing so we've got a full kitchen in here uh, a much bigger sink that's right a big sink we might have and to come over here to do dishes a larger you have a dishwasher why would you need to do dishes for one here? dish okay over here you have a larger living room uh, we do have a cage with a heat pad just to keep the snakes from delivering slightly warm on a thermostat and also things we bring in we can keep warm uh, we have a really nice view out here as well much the better cool thing with out here is look at that there's your ocean view. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's very nice. Uh, we have the cityscape. I really like the view this room has because it gives you both from in here. And not just that, but it gives us another king bed, which you can see I have already claimed this one. So I'm going to let the two of them fight over that. And then there's even an extra sleeper sofa. So if we find a drunk friend that we think shouldn't drive home, we can even toss them on that if we need to. So really kind of a cool thing. The window here also has a nice ocean view. So I'm feeling very, very spoiled. I don't know about my other two yahoos. What do you guys think? It's not too bad. I like not it. too bad? I like this it. This has to be the places you stayed in Iraq. I, yeah, definitely. Yes. I lived uh, in a mall with no AC or anything. It, it, 
no this water has be running better. water. What about for you? Is this this meat standard? You doing okay? It's acceptable. It's acceptable? I would <laughs> hope so. Uh, anything beyond this would be like Donald Trump level. And then, of course, another soaker tub and another basic bathroom. So this is where we're going to be living, and we're going to take you through our whole weekend. We're going to show you the show, some overviews. We'll do some separate videos and some interviews throughout the show of some people and some products and some really cool stuff. And then here, the next time you're going to, well, for us it's going to be tomorrow morning, but for you it's going to be like instantaneous. We're going to be going to check out that Daytona show. So stick with us for the entire video to see some really cool animals. Stoked. And it's time to go to the show. We're just getting out, but you're going to get the quick trip. And we're here, like I said, that quick. Our hotel is literally like right, no, it's not. It's about a half a block or a block away, but that's not bad. Uh, so here we're at the Ocean Center at the entrance. We're going to go in, we're going to check out the show, and y'all get to come with us today. Hey there, guys. So the best part, waiting in line, right? Oh, the good news is, believe it or not, we're not at the end. I'm not sure how that is, but uh, we're going to get to go in. You guys are going to have to wait. Who's going to shut this off and not sure until we get in there? So let's go and check it out. We don't even let us in for 10 more minutes. Always be early if you can. Get you in there first. You might find that dream snake without somebody else snatching it before you get there. So let's go to the show. Guys, we've had a great show. We're sitting here just soaking in a little bit of the last minute sun off of our balcony with the ocean behind me before we set to roll out. Uh, I want to share with you a selection of what we bought. If you watched the live, you've already seen a lot of this. We got this plus some at the uh, expo. Uh, really neat stuff. Now, they have them out here in the sun. very long. Don't start saying, ah, you're cooking them. Uh, we just did it for a poetic shot. But one of the, probably the highlight, I think, is going to be this little guy right here because we have so many plans for him. That is going to be the, uh, well, you can call it less, you can call it butter. It's also a pastel, and it's also a desert ghost. I wanted to get this out in that natural sun and really let you see it. It is just amazing. Put that little guy back. And then, of course, we have this guy here we picked up. And he does have a little shed on his head. We gave him a moist paper towel, hoping he kind of maybe rubs on some of that. Uh, so when I get him home, I can give him a bath. I'm just trying to soften that up so we can get it off a little easier. I'm hoping the color really pops in the natural light. You can see the yellows dribbling through there. A really bright purple outline along this uh, back to the yellow stripe. And this is an ivory that is also inchy. So inchy ivory, so super yellow belly inchy. Beautiful, beautiful animal. That head is amazing. Uh, just a gorgeous snake. Put you back in there. show this guy off also for our ghost projects because our ghost project where we got three ghost females that are visual uh, that will all be breeding next year and we wanted to kind of up our game so the goal is to get this guy ready to go soon I mean it was just normal standard feeding nothing crazy if he's ready cool if not that's fine too to increase our, our visual ghost game this is an inchy or sorry this is a super inchy uh, pastel vanilla ghost so when we pair this like our lesser ghost and our other two ghosts, we can make a lot of really cool, really neat ghost combos. And when we put this to a standard ghost female, the worst thing we can make is an inchy ghost. 
and that is pretty awesome. So this will really help those projects kind of take off and do some neat stuff. And of course, uh, we wanted to get into a new species. Kurt's been talking about blood pythons for a long time. So we did pick up a male and a female blood python. This is a young male. He's been super nice so far. The female's a little more uh, angry. Need to get a little meat on his bones, but he's young. That won't be hard to do. So we'll get him going good. And we picked him up at the charity auction. So uh, he's a little bitty guy. Just, I mean, I don't know how big they are when they're born, but he's not very old. But uh, so this went to help uh, U.S. Arc, especially U.S. Arc Florida with the charity auction. I'm just happy he's not lighting into me. <laughs> the female probably would out here. So we decided to let her calm down for a few days. And along with that, we also got a really nice uh, pinstripe exantic female and then another desert ghost pastel female to really push her desert ghost game up. So that's kind of our pickups. We had a great show. Uh, but now it's time to load all this stuff in the Jeep and head home back to Kansas, get these guys kind of set up uh, as best we can for now, um, get some sleep, and then get back to being normal Olympus in just a few days. Camera guy Alex, since Kurt couldn't make it. And just so you know, well, Kurt was gone. Unfortunately, we gave him a ration of shit for not making this trip, but he also did have a softball game. That's not why he dipped out on Florida. He dipped out on Florida because they're getting ready to try to sell their house and move, and just life happens, a new job, and time, you know, have enough time to be gone. I understand that totally. But in the softball game, he separated his shoulders. So let's all hope he gets back together and can still hold the camera right, because uh, these guys did a great job from this weekend, but I know we all miss him. But camera guy, Alex, do you have anything you want to add? What was your favorite part about the show? Oh, man, we had a 2 a.m. ocean run last night. That was kind of fun. Uh, I would say my favorite part, we got a lot of cool animals. My favorite part was probably getting to meet a lot of different people and a lot of people, especially from our Patreon. So I talk to those folks all the time, but I don't ever get to see the faces. So getting to meet them and put faces with the names, go out and have a dinner with them and things like that, that was probably my favorite part. Uh, but really, this whole weekend was great. The only thing that's going to suck was the drive here and now the drive home. Everything else was wonderful. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Uh, keep watching. Hopefully, we get to do more shows and bring up more cool places like this.